Super. Well, I'll circle back, Sheila, and finish that story in a minute. But one of the things I wanted to um, say to you guys is I, I may have mentioned it already on the Director Boxer group, but I believe it bears repeating um, that um, Danny, you know, my spouse, he had watched the Facebook Live on September 1st unbeknownst to me. And he was like, Joy, it was so good. Like, I think y'all should watch it every day. And so I watched it. He called me when he got to work the next day and he said, I just listened to it all the way to work. Like, is it on your weekly plan sheet to watch it again today? Like, it's going to keep your goals so front and center. So I watched it again. And I've only watched it one other time, so it's on my list to start with that in the morning. But it helped me so much yesterday. I watched bits and pieces of it to, to remind myself of what I wanted to talk to my unit about in our unit meeting. And so I thought, what a simple tool, right? Like, it's already there. It's already recorded. We can fast forward or do whatever. But the, um, the excitement and the thrill and the passion and the purpose that we all feel on the first of anything, like at the beginning, like having that infused into our being all the time over and over and over. Okay, so that's one thing. If you haven't done that, I want to recommend that. Second thing that happened, and um, so I've, I've, these two things. Um, second thing that happened is Danny had reached out earlier today, and he was just super tired. And so I said, he's serving at church right now. And I said, is there anything that I can do for you, like, in this moment? Like, I'm going to cook dinner for him later, but we're going to have a late date. But is there anything right now? And he was like, just keep loving me. And then the next text, this is what the next text said, y'all. He said, oh, and this. So I just want to read this to you. These questions, y'all, so think about for yourself. Take a breather. Sit quietly and visualize how good it's going to feel to have a, so like for me, he put $2 million unit. So for you, to have a circle of excellence unit. Sheila, to have two more offspring. You know, whatever, everybody, to have your triple crown, you know, necklace, right? Whatever your goals are. Sit quietly and visualize how good it's going to feel to have a what? How will we celebrate? Isn't that a great question? How will we celebrate? Who ordered the goal-crushing order? So like that final one. Who ordered that goal-crushing order? Um, next, who on your current team is now a director as a result of your dream. And of course, you could insert a red jacket, a free car driver, right? And then his last question was, who gets the glory? God, the team, you, keeping the focus, you know, all that. So I just thought, what amazing questions to, to spark our own visualization. And then Kevin, who leads my... Um, NSD Mastermind Group. Um, today, our topic was all about, you know, how to get into flow, how to stay in flow, what things can trigger flow. And I just want y'all to know, like, if, if that seems floaty, even to anybody, you know, listening back in, Kay Driggers is in that group with me. And when we started talking about flow a couple weeks ago, she's like, I don't even know what y'all are talking about. You know, with her thick Georgia accent, she's like, I need a remedial class on what the heck is flow. Like, we're just here to work, Kevin. We need to meet some goals. We do not care about flow. And he's like, this is probably why it's a great idea for us to talk about it. <laughs> so this was one of his posts today, if you follow him on Instagram. How happy, because y'all happiness and flow have a direct correlation. How happy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? It's always the little things. So then these are some of his little bullet points. How you spend your mornings. How you talk to yourself. What you read. What you watch. What you resist. What you allow. Who has access to you. Who you share your energy with. Like, I know that you have all known me long enough to know that in my former life, I never got a text 
in the middle of the afternoon, encouraging me to visualize how good it was going to feel when we accomplished bluff. And who was the gold crushing order coming from? And, and, and all those things. And so who you share your energy with matters, right? And then remembering that these very small things actually have the power to change your life. And um, I also, I know it would not bother her for me to just tell on her. Um, Pam and I talk every day. Y'all know that, Danny's sister and Pam Garnermore. And so we were checking in kind of late, like 5.30ish. And um, I now reached out to her. And she's like, Jules, like, it's been, it's been a lot today. And i am not gotten down my list. And I'm feeling tired. And, and she just told me, you know, a good girlfriend, honest, like we need. And she was like, and how are you? And I said, well, I'm not going to allow myself to say I'm tired. I could sleep for three weeks and my cells are vibrating at such a high level because this is the eighth day of the third month of our record breaking year. And I have more than enough energy for my calling. And so I've had an amazing day. And these are all the things I've done. And this, I have this red jacket thing tonight. My unit has a brand new red jacket, Carla Anderson's daughter, blah, blah, blah. And um, she's like, okay, okay, I've got to get back into the affirmations. I've got to start talking to myself in the right way again. You know, all those things that, some, you know, we would catch if we're talking to somebody. And um, so then I said, well, Pam, how about this? Let's try this. And so I said, I'm going to send you a separate boxer. And so on the next boxer, I said, um, and now, will you please help me welcome, along with her bold, record-breaking area sales directors, Brand new national sales director, Pam Garner from Ruston, Louisiana. And the crowd goes wild. You know, and I did it in my Gary Jinx voice. And so she's like, I'm going to cry. I've got plenty of energy. <laughs> I've got my call list. I'm going to do this. You know, all the things. And it reminded me, y'all, and God knows I've needed those people. Sometimes y'all have been those people for me. And, um, how we all have the power to not just shift ourselves, right? But to shift someone else, the gift of that for someone else, right? And so um, reminding ourselves to use our powers for good and not evil. And, um, and that scripture, I just keep going back to it. Whatever is pure, good, excellent, praiseworthy, a good report, Think on such things. We have plenty to think about this, not those things. One of the things Kevin said is believing it's too good to be true or that whatever it is that you're going for, believing it happening for you would be too good to be true immediately takes you out of flow. Immediately. It's like your fastest way, you know, to, to die on the vine is like, well, I know it could happen for her, but could it possibly happen for me? That is a surefire way to get out of flow. So I wanted to read y'all this because I thought, you know, sometimes the stories help us. Have I told y'all the Black Panther story? Or Sheila, have I told you? I don't remember. Okay, great. So listen to this quote. The world you see is a stage that you have constructed with your thoughts. And everyone you meet is an actor you have hired to play out the script of your life. Well, that just gave me pause. Like, have I hired, you know, Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and who else do we love? I don't know these people's personal lives, so forgive me if I've got it wrong, but like Mel Gibson. I like Tom Will Smith. Cruz, Will Smith you know, is fun. Audrey Hepburn, yeah. Marilyn Monroe, all the, who, who is playing out? on the stage of our lives, the script that we are wanting to see. And so then this is the story. Did you know that Black Panther, awesome movie, cost its creators a staggering $200 million to create? Not bad when you consider the futuristic African nation, the spaceships, the skyscrapers, all of which had to be generated out of thin air. I am not getting paid to create drama out of thin air, yet I would give 
myself an Academy Award for the incredible drama I have created thus far in my own life. <laughs> in a world that brims, a world, just like the hummingbird, right, that Sheila and I were talking about from my post. The world that brims with beauty and plentitude, complete abundance. We all deserve an Academy Award for the convincing story of lack and struggle we can sometimes create for ourselves and those we lead. The special effects I've employed to overlook the world's un to overlook the world's unending abundance is truly mind bending. Today I take a bow and ask myself if I've been this successful at creating this much separation, pain, doubt, and fear, what else could I possibly create? If only I begin focusing on love and infinite possibility. Isn't that so beautiful? And I think we can all find ourselves in that, even if it's just for a day or a moment, or sometimes it's been a week or two, you know, and then something happens or someone happens and kind of shakes us out of our current situation. And we go, wait a second, this cannot be it. This cannot be it. Is it time, Michelle? I'm already done. It is done. Yes. And we've got 60 seconds. And so I, I sent a message to everybody. I actually had us a little over time, but it was so good. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop. <laughs> it was so good. So we have to, we have to return back. That was amazing. Okay. It's closing in 30 seconds. So it says leave breakout room. You'll have to leave. Oh my gosh. <laughs>